sure he's seen a UFO. Sounds like many other UFO sightings. Off the east coast of the United States. Watch that. Watch no, I took an auto train. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. We knew not from where they came. Their great hulking ships suddenly appeared in the skies one day and cast the earth into shadow. The power of the massive engines depleted the ozone layer and so our world was scorched. Many perished from the harsh, unfiltered rays of the sun. But there were survivors. From the ragtag, downtrodden remnants of humanity, some brave souls organized themselves into a resistance movement. It's almost time to go, Anastasia. If you can't do it, I'll do it for you. Look, I understand that it's the hardest decision a mother could ever make. No. You've decided. I haven't. I haven't. Not yet. The choice is simple. The resistance. The resistance are coming soon and we can't take our child with us. They won't allow babies to slow them down. Now, we either go with them and have a chance, or we stay here, and then we'll all die. You don't know that for sure that all three of us will die. I just know that our chances are better with them. Than without them. I mean, this isn't just about sacrificing our baby so that we'll live. Look around at this horrible, toxic mess that we live in. Is this, is this really something that you want to bring a child in two. No, we That's not our choice to make, David. 
And little Stephen's too young to speak for himself. I don't like this any more than you do, Anastasia. But let's think this out fully. What life is there ahead for Stephen? The planet has been conquered by aliens. They burnt out the ozone layer with the exhaust from their ships. And no human being can go outside without risking being burnt alive. Humanity as we know it is gone. Humanity as we know it has been here for a few thousand years. People have lived on this planet for hundreds of thousands of years, throughout ice ages and other such calamities. <sighs> Who are we to say that our baby won't survive, maybe even thrive? Are you really willing to take a gamble on a long shot like that? When the resistance is only a kilometre away, they have underground bunkers, supplies, weapons, a community, and a plan for the future. Children are the future. They won't allow them. So what sort of future is that? One that we just live out our lives or whatever is left of them? That's no more than a post-apocalyptic pallet of care where we, we wait out your death in relative comfort and safety. Life is about hope. I'd rather die than, the, than an existence based in such misery. I think you're exaggerating. I can't imagine that everybody is just waiting around to die. Some will be looking to try to take back our planet. What they will or won't do is just conjecture. Killing our baby is fact. I'm not so sure that I'm willing to do that. I don't believe that we have the right. When we became parents, we entered into a sacred care duty of care. It's not just about us anymore. A parent should be willing to lay down their lives for their children. I agree, and I would, if the circumstances were just a little bit more normal. I don't wanna go with the resistance, really. I've thought about it, and there is no future in a community without children. We can debate all that we like about life being about survival, but it also is about the survival of the species. I'm sure that once they've re-established themselves, people will start to have children again. Even so, the ends don't justify the means. Creating a new community at the cost of the lives of young children and babies is wrong. We can talk that we like about some future utopia, but if it's built on the blood of the innocent, what sort of society will it be? With only minutes to make a decision, you want to get into philosophy now? This isn't some airy, very theoretical shit. 
what sort of community are we going into? Some sort of totalitarian nightmare where they ask us to do vile things in the name of the greater good? David, they want us to kill our fucking baby. I don't particularly want to take a life, especially not our own sons. I'm just looking at the options presented here. Here are the options as I see it. Yes, our world has been decimated and life will be hard. Our options are to brave that as a family, together. Or to kill our own child and go with the so-called resistance. How long do you think we will survive on our own? A day? A week? A few months? Life isn't always about the length of time. It's also about the quality and what you do with it. If we use if we use this knife to end Stephen's life, there is no going back. And then, what will our lives be like for the next day, week, few months? Do you really want to live with this burden weighing down on you, on your heart? Can you live with it? Come on, we need to go, now. Give us a minute. I'm not weak. I know. You only want what is best for us, but it has to be for us all. I don't know if this is a mercy killing anymore. Or just a convenience for us so that we can just live a little bit longer. Damn you, Anastasia. You think too much! It's not about either. It's about whether a just society can be built on unjust foundations. Can we really be part of a community that asks us to kill our baby for the price of admission? We gotta go. Now! Fuck off! We'll take our chances on our own! of time I grew to manhood. My parents would be worried that I'd be outcast. But all children born after the great invasion were similar to myself. We were a new species and one that had adapted to the new climate. The aliens mysteriously left the planet one day. We guessed that they'd taken what they wanted from the Earth. And now, it was ours again. Our parents' generation died out, and we walked out of the darkness, 
We reclaim that which was ours by right of birth. I shall always be grateful to my parents for choosing life.